Hello and welcome once again to my side of YouTube. This is Luther574, and at this very moment, I'm going to be talking about uh, something that I really wanted to look for on YouTube, but people aren't really talking about it. Um, this is basically about a game that has a DLC coming out this month, but there is no information on what day on this month it would be. So, alright, the month just started. What day is it right now? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. The third day of this month. So, it's the third day of this month. Which is the third. Saturday. Tuesday 1, Friday 2. Saturday 3. The 3rd of February. This month on 2018. So... All right. People talk about the game. Um, the game, I haven't talked about what the game was. The game is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So people are talking, have, instead of talking about when the day is going to come or what part of this month will it be, will it be the middle of the month? Like, you know, the middle. Somewhere around... The 11th, the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, or 17th. Possibly. Or maybe it's going to be just like Terraria. Terraria was all, you know what? We're going to have this come out 2014. Bitch. That never came out until 2017. And it was the last day of 2017. Or I think it was the 18th. How many days were there for... Never mind. I'm... <laughs> yeah, because it was supposed to be October, I think. I could be wrong. But anyway, um, Xenoverse 2. When it, came, when it comes to people talking about Xenoverse 2 DLC 6 on YouTube, all they're talking about are the characters... What characters should have been added when the creators of Xenoverse had mentioned, had spoke of after the fourth DLC came out, they said, well, it was a question that someone asked them is like, since the fourth DLC is coming out, do you already have plans for more DLCs? And they're like, yeah, up to like eight. Bam. So if the character that you're hoping for coming out in this DLC doesn't come in, there are two more DLCs. Or if they're making more, some people are saying they should just stop doing DLCs for the game and just make the third Xenoverse. I don't think Xenoverse 3 is going to be a thing. Because of the fact that Pokemon have been has been played off for so long, because in Japan the 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 longest um anime is out of everything so far is I would say Pokemon, because the anime hasn't stopped yet. Because Pokemon Sun and Moon, yeah. There's a Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you've been watching watching it, then you, you you're you're gonna have to like tune into like on the TV, you're gonna have to tune into Disney XD. Because no no, we're not gonna put it on Cartoon Network. I understand completely. Because on Cartoon Network, it's been coming out at fucking four to five in the morning. Like as soon as the sun comes up. I used to, I remember waking up, going downstairs, go, and I'm like, you know, I'm going to wait, because I overslept a lot when I was a kid, so yeah, I missed the bus, I was waiting for Mama Chan to, <laughs> Mama Chan, I was waiting for Mom, Big Mama Bear to come on down and drive me to school, but apparently, uh, I, I usually got a whole lot of time to wait, because waking up. 
Uh, I would spend my time watching TV until Pokemon came on. Yeah, it was like seven or eight. It's, yeah, at least. And you have to wake up so early to watch it, like, as soon as it comes on. Like, some shows or whatever, you don't have to do that. But like I was saying, the longest things are Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, now Dragon Ball Super, which has been mentioned that Dragon Ball Super will end. Wow. Then again, Sun and Moon was foretold to, foretold to be the last Pokemon games in general. But they were planning on putting it off into the Pokemon Switch. I mean, the Nintendo Switch. Got the two biggest animes out there that have been the longest, that has the longest series and the biggest fan base. I'm not too sure about One Piece. One Piece has been the longest I've seen so far, with a whopping four to five hundred episodes. Or more. Because I can't say One Piece is going to end anytime soon because of the fact that there is so much story in it. And yeah. It starts off with one person who has an ability to stretch out very far because he ate a fruit that was called the Gama Gama no Mi. But yeah, it's one of those shows. It's sci-fi, um, thriller, action, comedy. It's really cool. It's really awesome. If no one's ever really watched any of these things that I've watched before, Pokemon, I completely understand. If you haven't, most people I, I know haven't even realized Pokemon was a thing until people they knew started talking about it. But alongside with Naruto, it's no longer Naruto. It's supposed to be Boruto. Boruto is the son of Naruto. Naruto is a fictional character in an anime, an animated film. Yeah. So as I was saying, Xenoverse 2, people talk about the characters that they want in the game or characters that should be in the game, as I was saying. If it, they weren't going to be in a specific DLC, they have plenty of more. And as I was saying before that, um, some people were saying that they should stop giving DLCs to this one game because even though it's a game, that makes no sense because it's a game. <laughs> because of the fact that the game has been... It came out like... It's pretty old by now. But the person that was talking about this had mentioned that there is a, a glitch or a bug about how your character just backswings for no reason. Well, before I talk about um what I wanted to... I think I already said what I wanted to say. Well, I wanted to mention about the back hit. About characters back hitting for no reason. I'll tell you what that's for. They, add that, they added that in the game. If you're going to get flanked from the other side. Because there's a this thing that you can do with a combination of buttons. You charge after them. And if you press it the second time. They charge and go around you to flank you from the other side. And the reason your character does this is if that ever happens, you can just, well, bam, not today, bitch. But, you know, people, <gasps> why am I doing this? I didn't want to do that. Must be a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not too loud, it's because of the fact that it's seven o'clock in the morning and I don't want to wake anyone up you know yeah so yeah the the day some, someone said there should be a universe three and it should have a whole lot of characters to be honest this universe 
is not about having all these characters. It's about having its own story. Like, there's Dragon Ball. There's Dragon Ball Super. There's Dragon Ball Z. Before Dragon Ball Z was just Dragon Ball. Dun 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 dun. Um. And because of the fact that, yeah, so many fan favorite characters aren't in the show. I mean, the game. See what I mean? Fan favorites. It's only because people who probably got everything in their life but from their parents babying them, you know, they finally got spoiled to the point that, oh, I'm playing a game. I like this game. Why isn't my favorite character in this game? They need to get this favorite character in this game right now. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> but there is something called working together with other people to make like you know a, a fact a fraction rally or whatever the hell it is may have getting like papers and whatever may having it to, eh, eh, eh. instead of being like hey you should put out a pokemon pokemon because that was the first thing that came to my mind <laughs> well I, you probably understand what i'm saying if not i was it's probably because i'm mumbling and i'm but anyway, um, Xenoverse 3, Xenoverse 2, Xenoverse 1, Xenoverse 1 wasn't even Xenoverse 1, it was just Xenoverse, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and then Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, wait, wait Bandai, did you already make a Xenoverse 2 without making 1? Because if I remember, we only had Xenoverse. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I don't see Xenoverse 1. Like, that could have been the origin of Xenoverse 1. And then, dun dun dun, Xenoverse 2. Which, Xenoverse 1 was the origin of Xenoverse 2. Stories behind stories behind stories. If they're going to do anything like that, then instead of making a Xenoverse 3, hey, make a Xenoverse negative 0. Because Xenoverse could be 0 itself. Because Xenoverse. You, you never really say zero all that much, like zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see what I mean? You don't start off from zero, you start off from one. But the way numbers are put out, the zero is right behind one. And then behind the zero would be negative of what would be in front of it. But, you know. You know, I probably explained something that was probably mathematical that I have no idea how to do. <laughs> because of the fact that if I look really weird when I smile, it's because my lips are very chapped and my... Uh, yeah. Universe 3. Uh, what would it be? Well, how would, how would it go? People are saying that, you know, if they're going to make me Universe 3, they should ask more characters. I say no. Make your own characters. It's supposed to be a story of its own. From the history of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball GT. Dragon Ball Super. Wait a minute, Luther. Wait a minute, Luther. Wait a minute, Luther. What are you talking about? What do you think I'm talking about? Well, I'll tell you. Don't worry, I'm just being very weird talking to myself. Smelf. Well, let's stop talking about Xenoverse 3. Why? Because of the fact that what we really wanted to know is what day is it going to be coming out? Well, if there... Uh, the, what day is Xenoverse 2's DLC 6 coming out? Well, I'll tell you a voice in my head. Apparently, I don't know at the moment, but the only thing we can do is guesstimate. Since the month just started and we're already three days in, there's the 4th, there's the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and then 8th. 
28. In total days of February. <coughs> My voice just gave out. 28 days of February. So, which one of these days is it going to be? So, if I am right, and I know how game makers work when it comes to a DLC, sometimes it comes out super early, depending on what's in the game. Depending on what's in the game. Past DLCs haven't had any thing to do with um evolutions. No. I forgot the name of it. Forms. They had nothing to do with forms. Because all that they have been doing is giving us characters, giving us moves masters well teachers and then story to the Xenoverse 2 but what else is there that okay so like I said all those DLCs never had anything to do with forms all of the forms we had in the game Super Saiyan Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta Oh no, it was Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta. Um, I'm talking about the the Saiyan of things. There's Future Saiyan. Yeah, that's a thing for some reason. And then there's K.O. Ken that you can put on almost any character. Now, all the other characters that aren't Saiyans, humans get po Power Pole Pro. Then you just go on a cloud and you swing a stick at people. <laughs> The Namekians, the green people who have horns on their head. And with really pointy ears. If if you know what this universe or just Dragon Ball is in general. The Namekians, they only go... They have their giant form. There's the Arcosians. But people know them as the Frieza clan. They, they just don't even call them Arcosians. Well, I'm just going to go with the Frieza people. Oh. The Frieza people get a golden form, which makes um, most of their, their skin um, purple, and the orbs on certain parts of their body purple, alongside with the original golden state on their clothed parts, I guess. Because their armor, their skin is their armor. <laughs> and then we have, and then we have, and then, <laughs> there's also the Majins. Oh, when I first started playing Xenoverse 2, I hated using the Majins. Why? Because as soon as they gave the Majin a something new like a form I was like whoa I really want to do this because Majin Buu was one of my favorites in the series in the anime so yeah it was called purification form oh well, yeah and then there is another form for all of them to have not just K.O. Ken it was uh, not purification. Unlocked Potential, which was basically Super Saiyan for everyone. It didn't lower anything. It was raising everything like their attack. Um, I'm not going to say speed. Uh, I, I can't, I don't know exactly what it boosts exactly, but it's pretty much K.O. Ken, but K.O. Ken eats at your stamina like mad. <laughs> Depending on which one it is. Now the newest one. The newest form we're getting is from this DLC. Bam. Now how much time does it take to add something into the programming of a game that's not just a character? Because when they're making a character, they're making variations of a character. All they have to do is copy and paste 
the character and just change it around and then put it into the coding. And now when we're talking about making a, a form for your created character, you're, you're going to have to work out a whole lot of bugs, a whole lot of coding stuff. So I'm going to have to say it would be around the 17th. It would have to be around the 17th of February this month. But if it's not 17th and I end up to be wrong about it being so long in the month for just one DLC, don't forget. There's not just a form and a few new characters. There's also story bits going on. Alongside with... Not to, not to say that... Oh my goodness, I just remembered. There's free... Like the early access for the DLC. The, the free stuff is supposed to be... um The form, new characters. And I think story... No, because there's the free stuff, the free access stuff, and then there's the stuff you have to buy. Because they always do this. They're going to give you this little teaser of what you can have, and then the rest of the stuff that you really want to get into your thing, the DLC, if you want to get all those DLCs in that, you have to buy them to get the full extent of the DLC. Because for all I know, the it's already confirmed that the form and characters are going to be in the free stuff and the story stuff and the parallel quests are going to be in the payable stuff alongside with i don't know because there's all these things like the core core scans whatever it's called <laughs> so like i said the free stuff is probably to come early, and the payable stuff is probably going to come later. Then again, hmm, yeah, adding stories into something, something new into the, into a game, it would have to take a little bit longer than it would adding something as new characters, copy and pasting characters, putting things on. There's also going to be new character. There's going to be two copy paste characters, which is going to be. 17 and i believe gohan i might be wrong wait i think it's just gohan no 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 <laughs> not gohan it's going to be 17 and jiren jiren is just uh the the, the regular um alien gray alien that's just buffed up my voice is getting horse on me okay Jiren that didn't help at all <coughs> yeah so one copy of paste I think there was two I can't remember Jiren and now story bits like actual story for the game and then parallel quests they call those story bits as well only for the only because that when you're playing the quests in the game it has story in it and it leads on to what we go through in the actual story of the game but anyway um I think I explained too much, and because it's 24 minutes and oh, Jesus, I I was talking too long. That's probably why my voice is going a bit hoarse right now. I can feel it too. It's not good on my throat. <laughs> but anyway, I guesstimated that the 17th was going to be when everything came out. So for all we know, the free stuff is going to come out on... I'm not going to say 17th, I'm going to say the 9th, 10th, or 11th. And some of these DLCs have been coming out free and the paid stuff all at the same time. 
but it might take so, a, a longer time for these things to actually be settled out. But they mentioned it, um, the DLC, oh, on the 27th of, I don't know what month or day. <laughs> But usually when it comes to game stuff, it takes a whole lot of time. There's coding, like I said, all the sort of stuff. I'm, I don't make games. I just, I just remember things that people say because Pipework Studios, they're doing a DLC for Terraria for the console versions. So it would be the full extent of everything that you would get from the P PC. So they basically added so much stuff that they had to get rid of one thing which was a boss and alongside with that it took them at least the last day of the month that they said it was going to come out which was crazy because they're like you know it's going to come out uh this month on this day and then they're like we're going to have to push it further because of the fact that they actually needed to get it um worked out with someone so it could actually go on the, P the consoles for the console because there's a whole thing with um making it it takes a whole lot more time making it and then there's another short bit of time but it's still a good amount of time for the people on the consoles to confirm this or whatever it is that they said what, that what, what was going on <laughs> so yeah uh Like I said, it's probably going to be the 9th, 10th, 11th, or 12th of February. Or if I'm wrong, because it is the third day after all of this month, it could be, like my previous guess, the 17th, maybe even to 20th of this month. If I'm wrong, throw me some shit. Throw me some shade. Type down in those comments saying that I was completely wrong. But hey, if I got at least out of one of these days right. Remember, as soon as you watch this video, write it down. Just if you have that kind of patience. <laughs> so this has been Luther574. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.